Hi, I'm Dominique Saxa. I am 57 years old and I love a good workout. If you've been following me on my YouTube journey for the past almost 10 years, you know this started as a beauty channel and it kind of morphed into lifestyle and wellness. A big part of that wellness has been the evolution of my fitness routine over the years. I have always appreciated movement and have known and studied about the benefits of physical activity, not only for healthy, strong bones and muscles, but also for longevity as well. Heart health, brain health, physically fit, how, how you look and feel and move, it's all encompassing. And as I have aged and matured, I would say my fitness routine has too. I recently posted a video on social media not long ago. I called it the 50 over 50, and it was essentially five routines for either 50 seconds or 50 reps. And I don't know, I don't know how many views that video got, but it was a lot. So it led me to believe that maybe there was a little more of an appetite for a fitness routine, what I like to do at home when I can't get out, get to the gym, get to the studio for a traditional hour long class. I'm a firm believer you can knock it all out in your house, have a wonderful time, hit all body parts, get it done in 10 to 15 minutes and really feel like you accomplished something and essentially brought the gym, brought the Pilates class back Home. So that's what I'm going to call this, my at-home Pilates routine that incorporates some good stretching to warm up and really, really strong body movements. No weights. This is all body weight. This is what I love to do. It has really been the evolution of my fitness journey. Um, and I, I will say I will go to the gym and do traditional weightlifting, but I really love what I've discovered about using my own body for strength, for stability. Um, it's challenged me in different ways and I haven't been so locked into one way of doing things. And I think that's what I appreciate so much about it. I think that's why we women, as we get older, we tend to gravitate a little bit more to Pilates, using the body, using natural tension to help uh, tone the body, tone the muscles and get a great workout. So that's what we're gonna do here in the comfort of my home. And we're gonna start out with some good basic stretching. The only thing you need is a mat and your body and a great attitude, and that's it. It's simple, it's easy, it can be modified to suit any fitness level, but the first thing is just to get moving and to prevent any kind of injury, we need to get our bodies flexible, stretched, and mobile. So some basic things, we can warm up, reach to the sky, lock arms, stretch straight up, and then go to the right, hold it, and then stretch over to the left and hold it. Do this a few times, just getting the kinks out, especially in the obliques. This is great for starting to wake up that core over to the right, over to the left, and just breathe it out. I really like to focus on my breathing, making sure I'm doing strong inhales and strong exhales through my nose, then reach up and squat down with legs straddled. Again, just loosening up. Now we're starting to feel it in our legs, inner thighs, reach up and down, up and down, up and down. Loosening up the hips, loosening up the glutes, the quads. We're getting the full body working together with this one. Okay. Now we're going ice skating, lunging side to side. Opposite arm goes down, just lunge and stretch it out. Left arm will come down to the right, right arm goes down to the left and just work it out. Do about 10 reps on each side. Twist out the back. Now we're gonna get down on our hands and knees. Let's raise the right arm up and then thread the needle and just hold it there for a bit. Stretching out that right shoulder, pressing the right cheek to the mat. Come back up to a neutral position, then raise the left arm up, thread the needle Get that left shoulder pressed down on the mat, left cheek down as well. 
and hold. And now let's warm up the spine with some spine stretches, a little cat-cow. Do what a cat does. Get that back arched. Look down and then cow. Press the stomach toward the mat, head up, and just alternate between these two. Anywhere from five to 10 times. Okay, this should get the blood flowing. Have you feel ready for some good motion that's going to take place now. We are really going to get into those legs, our quads, our glutes, strongest muscle groups. So we're gonna stand up and we're gonna get in chair pose. So knees bent, legs together, pressed, arms raising up into the air. We're gonna sit into chair and then we're going to stand up, arms down. We're gonna use these arms, keep them nice and tight. Back will be straight and strong. We're gonna do this for a 10 count. Chair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we're going to stay seated, arms stay up. They should be feeling a little bit of a burn. We're gonna do some tiny pulses now, a 10 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now go even lower. Woo wee, you should be feeling this. We're going to now keep the arms up, they're shaking. Lift the right ankle and then the left. This is great for balance and stability. We're gonna alternate. Again, those quads should be on fire, those glutes. Ooh, fired up, 10 count, keep alternating. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, I'm gonna face you now. Going to do a slight squat. Hands are on my hips. I'm gonna start with right leg out and then left leg out. And we're gonna tap it out 10 times on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, now we're getting down on our hands and knees. We are really going to get our glutes involved. We're gonna do some leg lifts. We're gonna raise the leg up high, out to the side, pointed toe, and then tap down in the middle. Out to the side, lift high and down. 10 on the right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch it out, left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, great job. All right, let's move it into a down dog. Now we're really going to get these abs firing. Right leg shoots up to the sky, pointed toe. It's like you're threading a needle with your legs. Knee to nose, count 10 times. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I know you're feeling it, six. Seven, great for shoulders, eight, abs, nine, whole body, 10. Switch it out, left leg, shoot it straight up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Keep it long, keep it lean. Good job. Okay, shake it out. We're really gonna get the heart pumping now. We're gonna stand up. We're gonna either do the squat or a jump squat. Depending on how you're feeling, squat for 20, or you can do a jump squat for 10. If you're really feeling ambitious, do 20 as well. And it can be a light jump. Just make sure your back is straight. You're not bending over at the waist. Make sure your knees aren't going too far over your toes. It can be a little hop, but it's enough to get the heart rate just pumping. And again, those legs should be on fire at this point. We're adding cardio to our workout. We're using our entire lower body. Keep it going, either a 10 count or a 20, what you feel ready for. And when you're done, just shake it out. Take a breath, grab something to drink. And now we're gonna work on our arms. So let's get down on the mat. We're going to press up to child's pose and then come down and do a push up. So we're moving through this. We're gonna push up and then push it all the way back, release it in our hips in a child's pose. Come back up, move through this slowly. It's a controlled motion. Keep your elbows in tight, not wide. We're getting our chest, our shoulders, our triceps. As we move through this motion, we're also getting a really good stretch for our back and our hips. We're sort of shaking out a little bit of that pain from the leg workout. We're focusing on the arms right now. Slow and controlled. If you can do 20, amazing. If it's just 10 to start with, amazing too. Do whatever you can do. Just work through this. The key for any of these exercises is slow and controlled. We're not rushing. We're not in a hurry. The more controlled you are in going through these movements, the more you are engaging your core, the better strength you will have, the better control you will have. It also prevents injury that way as well. Once we're done with that, we're really going to target our obliques. Everybody wants abs in midlife. This is an amazing way to get them. We're gonna do a side plank, we can modify. So if you're already on fire and you feel like you've had enough, you can do a modified side plank. You can put your leg down to stabilize you, or you can do the full on side plank balance with one foot stacked on top of the other. Or if you feel really ambitious, you can raise that leg. Or if you're feeling really ambitious, you can crunch knee to elbow 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I know. You don't have to say it. Let's move to the other side and get it done. Okay. Again, you modify according to your fitness level. At least you know you have options and you have things to work toward if you feel you need to start at the very beginning. I'm going to go with the crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, you have worked hard. Every part of you should feel like it's gotten a workout. And I do mean every part of you. Let's stretch it out. Let's relax, breathe, keep breathing. Deep, deep inhales through your nose. We're gonna go into child's pose. Just let it out, let it out. You've done great work today, great work. Do you see how you can target every body part so easily, right in the comfort of your own home? It just takes a little bit of time and dedication, that's it. Just breathe it out. Get that heart rate down. Let those hips open up. Just stretch it out, entire back, hips, legs, and just oxygenate. Okay, let's really get deep into those hips now. Let's do a lizard lunge. Start on the right side. Just bring your leg up as comfortably as you can. Stretch out your left. If you need to hold it upright, you can. If you can fold over, maybe put your head on your forearms. Go ahead and do that. And let's hold it for a good 10 count.
Okay, let's make our way back up slowly. Slowly ease out of this one. Just roll on over on your right hip. Swing that right leg back. Bring your left knee up. Stretch the right leg behind you. Again, if you need to prop yourself up, do that. And if you can fold over, do it and hold it for 10. Great job. Okay, let's get on our backs. This is gonna feel so good. Let's do a figure four. Again, a little bit more releasing. And put the right leg over the left. Pull that left leg in. Hold it for a little bit. Now we're gonna do a full on twist, cross that right leg over. Let's go over to the left side. All the way, put your arms out wide like a T and look over to the right. Great stretch for the lower back. Great for the spine. You may hear a little pop or two. Okay, tuck the knees in, bring them up to your chest, both feet down. Now left foot over right knee, figure four, pull the right leg in, hold it for a bit. Okay, cross your legs now, left one over right. Let them fall down to the right, arms out to a T and look left. Great job. Now just bring in your legs, hug them tight. Give yourself a nice, nice hug. Squeeze those knees and then release it and lie down and just breathe. At this point, you should be feeling nice and relaxed. You should be feeling your breath moving through you like a wave. And you should also be feeling a sense of accomplishment and hopefully a sense of gratitude that you took some time to do some movement for you today, to be strong, to be healthy, to be vibrant as we move through this life and we take the time to do what it is that our body asks us to do. I hope you found this at home little Pilates class helpful. I am by no means a pro, I am just a student of life. I'm a student of exercise and whatever I learn, I like to bring to you. So enjoy what your movement, enjoy what you do. Let me know what you'd like from me in future videos, um, but exercise and movement has been at the top of the list. And so here it is. I hope you have a great week. Go out, be bold and be blessed. Until next time, bye.